Good morning out there, world. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are on this Wednesday, the 17th of April, 2024. I'm here in the Meerkat Magic Valley Reserve of the Meerkat Magic Conservation Project before sunrise at the Storn Dojo Gym, Martial Arts Dojo Outdoor Gym, Eco Gym. And it's time to do some bench press warm-ups for pecs and delts. Traffic is starting to pick up outside. There's not a breath of wind. There's not even one cloud scudding by. And it's going to be a gorgeous day. Join me, friends. Let's do this. All right. Let's set this up. Filming off my little camera. It's nothing spectacular. Let's get this done. All right, bear with me. Having a little setup scenario here. Come on. I'll get this going in a moment. Alright, it looks like we're in business. I had to adjust the orientation of the device. Alright, hopefully it doesn't fall over. Let's do this. I hope you can all see what we're doing. Let's get this done. Starting off with lightweights. It's important to warm up first. Get your pecs, your delts warmed up. Don't go into a gym cold and start moving weights. Especially free weights. If you're on a machine, it's a different story. But free weights, you can injure yourself big time. Remember, no pain, no gain is awesome, but too much pain is injury. And that's just stupid because you're going to end up putting yourself out of commission. It's a bad career move. All right, let's do this. Flat bench. <clears throat> I like to do the narrow grips for working the back of your arms, the tricep. Remember the tricep has three parts to it, the lateral, the medial, and the long head. All right, narrow grips. <sighs> Breathe deeply, blow out. Pumping. That's narrow grips. All right. For those of me, remember this. For those of you who follow me, you get my breath back. Whew. If it's not getting you out of breath, you're not exercising at your level. So adjust it. All right. Alright, for those who follow my work, check out YouTube, Meerkat Man, Google search the Storm Dojo Gym, you'll find it. Come and join me, make an appointment. No matter who you are, your age, your fitness type, we have a spot here for you. Alright, of course this is the indoor gym with the big weights. Outdoors, they're even bigger weights, a ton and a half. I challenge anyone on the planet, no matter who you are, to come and move some of the rocks that are up there. All right, there's something for everybody. Yeah, take a moment, breathe, get that delicious oxygen into your body, pump it up. When you're doing bench press, you're also working your trapezium, yeah, your anterior, your medial, and your posterior deltoids. All right, remember I'm 51, so don't come to me with excuses saying, oh, I'm too young, I'm too old, nonsense. There's something for your age. Remember, adjust the weights accordingly. And remember, this is a warm-up. So we're going from the narrow grip to a slightly wider grip. Again, between the bench, this is just around shoulder width. 
Breathe deeply. We're going to do the Japanese counting for my friends out there. Konnichiwa. Itch. Ne. Fan. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hat. Ku. Ju. Itch. Ah. Ne. Sang. Yeah, push through it. Hey. Ah, go. Rock. Yeah. Sit. Ah. Okay. Push yourself to failure, even on your warm ups. Remember, the objective is to flood the muscle group with the nutrient-carrying, rich oxygen blood. And then afterwards, go have a most delicious breakfast with amino acids, protein of choice. I recommend skinless, fatless chicken breast. And hake fillet, also very, very good for those omega-3s from the hake. All right, not too long a break when you're doing light weights. When you're doing heavy weights, you can push your breaks from 30 seconds to 60 seconds upwards. Two, three minutes. If you're doing maximal reps, of course, you can do much, much higher weights. Watch your form. And I also suggest with anybody out there, of course, if you're training with me, you would have a spotting partner, somebody who's going to watch the weight with you and help you get those last repetitions out, even if you're only doing the negative repetition. So that's basically allowing it from that lock position slowly down and repeating slowly down. That's very good with a spotting partner. This could be a deadly exercise. I do advise extreme caution to train by yourself. If you don't know what you're doing, you could have a bench bar collapse on you. The bar alone is over 10 kgs on average. You don't want that. You don't want it with weights. It can crush your ribcage. All right, just a warning. It's not, a, it's not a toy. All right. We'll be doing some free weights after this, depending on how the stream goes and how I feel. I would like to elevate the bench, and then we're going to be doing inclined. All right. And we might do some delt presses. Again, we're just keeping it light. This is only the start of the day, early morning workout. We'll get to the heavier stuff later, once I've eaten and get the extra energy. All right. That's a long enough break. It's time for wider bench press. Bench press also works the core. You're working your abdominals in a big way and you're working your quads as well as you stabilize. Make sure you don't pinch yourself on the bench when you move down to put the bar down. I've done that and I've got the scars to show it. It's like being pinched by a pair of pliers for anyone foolish enough to have experienced that, such as myself. It's what I call the one mistake. You don't want to do it again ever. All right, balance, crank them out. All right, watch the warning signs. When you get into your pre-exhaustion stage, you've still got some fuel in the tank, push it further. But remember, when you're doing the solo, such as I am, even with you out there watching, there's nobody to help if that bar comes down on you. So make sure you've got a little bit of juice left in the tank to crunch out that final rep. All right. What I'm going to do next. This is a wonderful bench. Adjustable like that. So... I'm not going to do more of those for now. I'm going to grab some weights. I'm not going to take a big break. I'm going straight into 20 kg hammer hex curls. Let's do this. These will strain you. I promise you this, no matter who you are. All right. I'm going to take these. We're going to lift them up to the shoulders and pecs. Still working that area. Remember, it's a pre-exhaust exercise. Yeah. 
simply starting off with delt presses like this, inclined delts, you're going to have a lot more juice in the tank, you'll be able to crank out more reps, but it's not about making excuses, it's about making gains, don't be lazy, it starts with a step, you just get out there and you start, yeah, you don't go, ah, I'll do it tomorrow, oh, I can't get to the gym, nonsense, like Arnold Schwarzenegger says, sleep faster, yeah, there's more time, there's 24 hours in the day, Push-ups only take you 10 or 20 seconds, so anybody in the world can do them anywhere without making excuses. Having said that, <sighs> taking a bit of a break there, a bit longer, these are heavier weights. <sighs> these are the same as doing this pretty much <sighs> and it's elevated, which adds to the difficulty considerably. All right, I'm going to be doing narrow Presses, which primarily work the anterior deltoid head. And then we're going to do a drop set. For those who followed my previous live stream, if you'd like to see it, go to the Storm Dojo Gym on Facebook or YouTube search it. There's a stream almost for an hour. might see a horrendous accident, but there's no editing. It's the real deal. So, when I say get out there, get motivated, I believe in practice what you preach. Make sure you get out there and do it. Don't just talk about doing it, actually do it. All right, a drop set is moving the weight down, but we're doing a giant set. So, we're combining a number of sets sets or repetitions, the number of the exercise, <sighs> repetitions in the set, supersets are giant sets and so on combined. So we're going to drop down to 15, <sighs> the bar 16. It's a lot less, starting to get the pump, I can see the cephalic vein starting to pop out here <sighs> on the shoulder, I can feel it coming out. as the body warms up. All right. If you're with a training partner, you can get them to spot the weights and pass them to you. That also helps. But again, if you become self-reliant, that's also good. As I like to say to my training partners who I do train with, you're not competing with each other, you're competing with yourself. Remember that. Everybody works at their own pace. upper pecs and your primarily your anterior deltoid the front deltoid head again three heads anterior medial posterior you're also working your traps your trapezium which are stabilizing your delts a bit of anatomy lesson there you've got your clavicle your collarbone going to your humerus and then your radius and ulna tie-ins over here all right that stabilizes, and of course, your lats are also serratus so anterior is being worked as you're doing bench press in this as well. All right, enough, enough chat. It's time to do the next set. Yeah. 
Alright, push to failure. Now, as I mentioned, we're doing a drop set. So, take a small break between your sets. We drop the weight. You can pyramid it again, going upwards again. This is a warm-up. This is the first gym of the day. Over the day, you can progress to heavier weights and so on, but make sure you've got enough energy. Make sure you get that protein in to give you that boost. And a very important point, and for all the mothers out there who complain about their children not listening, stay hydrated. Already, this is a 3 litre water bottle. That's water, not tea, coffee or juice and all of that. Water. Ah! Whew! Delicious. Yeah. This is like the advert. The Storm Dojo Gym. Fresh borehole reserve water. No mineral additives like chlorine and other junk chemicals. This is the good stuff here. You can get it if you visit. Alright. Now, <clears throat> we drop the game down. We're doing 20 and 20. Now we go 15 and 15. Down to 12 and 12. Alright. So you ready out there? Grab your weights. Do your push-ups. Grab a book. Grab a bag. Grab a friend. Don't make an excuse. Let's do this. It's not time for work yet. Come on. And for position, breathe. Up, two, two. Ah, you want to make sure your glenoid cavity, the tie in between, your humerus, ah, clavicle area is lubricated and warmed up. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, feel the burn. Ah! Oh! Alright, starting to feel that. It's coming on nicely. Yeah! Whew. We'll do some more bench in a moment. Not gonna drop set, you leave it as it is. Ah. If you're not breathing heavily by now, when you're gymming, you need to increase the intensity. Remember, it's about pushing the weights up. For those who follow my Gym motivation. I'm delighted to say I have a new mountain bike. Thanks to you, Mainhart from Utsur in Western Cape of South Africa. I appreciate it. So I got this yesterday. Rock shocks, disc brakes, tubeless tires. My very first mountain bike that has all of those features. And you can ride it too if you come and visit me. Now I have two bikes here. We go on secretive reserve trails that you cannot access except here. All right, that's cardio. Ha! Let's go. Del press, del press. Ah, narrow del press and shot. Two. you do. Anybody who's telling you it matters, does not matter. Remember, your muscle doesn't count the number of reps. It's just an indication. I also like to say, only start pushing when the burn begins and you feel like you cannot do any more. That's exactly when you should do more. Again, depending on what you're going for. If you're going for a bit of strength, endurance, then you're going to have shorter breaks. You're going to push yourself harder. I like to keep my reps fairly high. You can drop your reps down to 4 to 6 for very high weights. Or push them up to 8, 10, 12. Alright, I'm going around 20 thereabouts. Now, we drop all the way down to 10 kgs. I know. <laughs> for anybody out there who hasn't started gym and would like to start, I've got the full range of weights here. Starting off with only half a kilogram. For anybody who thinks they're too strong to do this, I promise you, if you do a thousand plus of these, you will burn out just the same as anybody else who does only a few. I don't laugh or mock when anybody starts their journey. It's all about supporting you on your journey, 
So I have motivation. Remember, it's one big family. It doesn't matter where you are on this beautiful rock of earth. Floating around the sun. We're all in this together. We're all travelers. Join us. All right. Next delt set. Tip. And up. Turn. This feels very light now after that. And that's the idea of a drop set. You keep your repetitions high. I like to go all the way down to touch the anterior head of the delt uh, before pushing up again. Note I'm not locking out. If you lock out your elbows, you're taking a break. You're taking a strain off the muscle. All right. For those of you who know my work as well, you will have heard me say, work harder, not smarter. That's right. <laughs> work harder, not smarter. Not, oh, work Work smarter, not harder. No, no, no. The Storm Dojo Gym is not about making it easier and delegating, putting the work on someone else or using machines. The Storm Dojo took years to build with massive rocks and small rocks. Each one is a symbol of discipline, a focus, a promise, a goal. SMART goals. It's an acronym to get fancy. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time. SMART. Yeah. Check out my YouTube videos on Storm Dojo Gym. You'll find it there. All right. So, it doesn't mean be foolish in the gym. When I say work harder and not smarter, it means don't make excuses to try and make it easier on yourself. The hard work that has to tear down the muscle to make it grow. And you're not going to do that if you are taking shortcuts. All right. Let's do this. Narrow delts. All right. Explosive. Ah. 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 All right, I can feel my left arm starting to give in. That's good. Ah, it's a nice warm up. Now, ah. that was brief incline bench. Again, just the warm up. Now I'm going to drop this. But, we're going to lift this up to, yeah, let's put it on that setting. <sighs> yeah. Alright, remember this is an unedited live stream from the Storm Dojo Gym Google Map Search to find us. Alright, we're going to do wide grip, ah, incline bench. Careful with this one, maybe you'll see a wipeout because you have to lift it forward. So you're getting a bit of work on your rotator cuffs as well. Be careful. Rather go lighter if you're not sure. All right, there's the first push into failure. All right, I'm not even going to try that any further on that weight. I see, and this is a tip coming from you right now. I'm warming up in the morning. I've burned out. My upper delts and pegs are finished. So, remember, check your ego. Don't check out your injuries. All right, we're going to move on. I'll go to flat bench and let those last few out for the warm-ups. Ah, as I like to say, practice what you preach. Note, I didn't try to push through when I knew I had that exhaustion going because that's exactly when you will tear something and then you'll be out of commission. We're going back to narrow. All right, we already did this, but note, I have not done a drop set. I'm keeping it at the same. We're going to push these out, pushing blood into the already exhausted muscle area. This is a compound exercise, not an isolation. So it means we are using multiple muscle groups, pectoralis, pec major, biceps, triceps, and that's all three parts of the bicep, biceps, biceps, brachii, biceps, brachio radialis, the section range your forearms, the forearms, flexors, extensors, rectus, abdominis, serratus, anterior, latissimus, dorsi, trapezium, I can go on. But it's using the entire upper body, all right. <laughs> Narrow grip. 
stabilize. I can feel that now. Remember, if you're doing the solo <laughs> and you're going for pre-exhaust warm-ups, you're going to tire out the muscle. That is exactly your objective. Low weights, fast, small breaks. Make sure you don't drop the weight on yourself. <laughs> for anybody who knows what I'm talking about, I'm sure you won't be doing that again. Yeah, I learned the hard way. Make sure if you're doing free weights, you train with an experienced partner who can show you what not to do. Don't go train with an egomaniac who's going to try to burn you out so you never want to do gym again. I know those guys. Shame on you out there. Yeah. Start off slowly at the person's pace. Find out what their goals are, what their motivation is, and begin. Because it's wonderful. What are you going to put into your body bank? What deposits will your future self say, Hey, thank you for getting up and doing that today. Thank you for going to the Stone Dojo Gym. A virtual live stream direct from the gym pre-sunrise. I can hear the birds calling. We're just going on sunrise. No, it's slightly wider. started off looking at the stream or have missed some of it, I will be uploading it onto YouTube. The Storm Dojo Gym has its own channel as well. Or you can just search the Meerkat Man Storm Dojo and you'll find it. I'll put it up later today probably. Again, this morning's pre-sunrise training objective is not for a long drawn out gym. It's about doing a warm-up quickly to pre-exhaust and pump blood into the pecs. Yeah, you can make them dance. Once you've got the blood pumped into them, <sighs> remember they're just thirsty sponges. So, and pump that blood into your biceps, your triceps, your delts. Ah, feels good. Get those endorphins and serotonins <sighs> and dopamine. Yeah, this is a drug free zone. No steroids, no PEs, performance enhancers, no testosterone injections here. This is only natural. So we're talking about natties. For those out there who know what I'm talking about, we don't do what I call cheating. This is going to get a lot of hate. But you know who you are if you're out there encouraging people who are starting gym to take drugs and wreck their kidneys and give them heart attacks and dehydration. Yeah, don't. Start off. Keep hydrated. I need to go drink again in a moment. I've nearly finished two and a half liters already of water. All right. Remember, if you're drinking juices and teas and coffees, those are diuretics. You're dehydrating yourself. So don't fool yourself into thinking, oh, I'm getting all the liquid I need. Uh-uh. <laughs> make sure you get water, just water as well. Enjoy yourself, but make sure you also be good to yourself. Fill up your body bank, your radiator. All right. That's a long enough break. It's given me plenty of juice to do another set. All right. Wide grip, we're hitting the outer side of the peck. chest. So when you're doing wide grip bench, you'll note the difference from when you're going from your triceps, yeah, 
narrow grips, like doing diamond push-ups, which I do up at the dojo. There have been thousands and thousands of push-ups done from people from all over the world already on the No Excuses Rock, which is over a ton and a bit. All right, dragged up there over two and a half years without machinery, up onto the highest hill in this area on my reserve, as a sign to, if I can do it, doesn't matter how long it takes, again, smart goals, just keep at it, don't give up, all right, because you've got this. As I said in my previous stream, and I love thinking of this, it doesn't matter who you are in the world, if you're a president, if you're the emperor, it doesn't matter. We all start off as a tiny little speck, an egg and sperm. Just think of this for a moment, please. The thought of the day. Everybody, doesn't matter what color you are, what you look like, what your monetary situation is, political views or anything. We all start off as that. What you write in your book each day is your choice. Now, you can decide what you're going to put on that page. And if you think of it as a film that you're going to be playing back to yourself at the end of the day, what did you do? Did you produce anything worth watching? I hope so. I'm putting myself out there for you today to try and motivate you. Just get out there. I've got my own goals. I know exactly what I'm after. And I'm relentless. Relentless discipline and focus equals victory. And as I also like to say, there is no failure if you never give up. Remember? Tiny little speck. If you're having a bad day, if you're feeling down, just remember that. Is it really important? Will anybody even remember this in a thousand years' time? Why is it so important to you? Don't get upset about things so easily is another thing I'll mention here. If you can simply think about it, it's an experience. It's a life lesson. Yeah. School fees. Pay them. Yeah. As a wise man once mentioned to me. All right. You'll know who you are if you ever watch this. Respect. All right. Next point. We all go through hardships. It's the anvil of life hitting us. Ah! Oizuki. Doesn't matter where you are, you get up again. You get up again. You get up again. Yeah, because that's what builds your strength. That's what builds your endurance. You can never give up. All right, friends. I hope you have the most awesome, amazing day. Remember, no matter where you are in the world, you're part of the gym family. Thanks for watching.